what is up everyone i figured i would do a story time again today um because i think i have a good one don't mind typical gamer in the background i love him he's my favorite gamer to watch well my top two but he's like the og he's like the only one like he's the first one i began watching and it was actually that game because it was when i bought it in 17 and I was addicted to it, so when I wasn't playing Friday the 13th, I was watching people play, and it was him. And now I just watch him with everything, except Fortnite. Um, anyway, so I figured I would tell you all a story that I found, that I find interesting looking back on. Um, I was robbed once. Um, it was when I was working. Well, you call it robbed or theft, I don't know. Um... But it was when I was working at the uh, St. Matthew's Mini Mart. And um, my mother was in there. I was there, obviously. And my co-workers were there, who I've become very good friends with now, um, since we've all left that place. Because that place sucks. Sucks. Anyway. <clears throat> um, so, we had just opened up... Um, a food section in there and hot food section and uh, we were all over there like looking at it paying attention seeing the food and all that my mother was actually there ordering so I was there helping helping them and this little boy walks in and ran behind the counter okay so if you think of the setup okay so you walk in the door right and then instantly to your right is my counter but if you go straight um, that's the other counter where the hot food is so I was over there at the hot food, and this little boy ran in, he's probably like 17 years old, ran in and um, ran behind my counter, the cashier counter, and uh, grabbed some um, tobacco products. Um, it was, you know, the, the Rellos, you know, like the, the little cigars. And it was, like, shocking. It was shocking because we were just kind of standing there looking in disbelief, really. Because it was my first time ever dealing with something like that. And my co-worker, it's funny now when you think about it, I swear to God. My co-worker, like, we're, we're in the kitchen section. And she's like, did he just go behind the fucking counter? And, like, so loud. And so, like, I walk over there, but by the time, like... By the time it registered, like, I speed walk, but he's already, like, back at the door going out. So then I run out the door, and he hopped in the car real quick. Of course, he had a, like, a getaway car, so his little 17-year-old friend, too. So, like, they're not smart, because we have cameras, first of all. And then, like, second of all, the way they pulled out, like, I'm st they drive right past me. And I yelled, like, fuck you, dumbass, or something, something crazy. And he just kind of gave me the finger. But I read the license plate. I said, thanks for the numbers, dumbass. And uh, my coworker came running out. And she started yelling out to call him, like, little shits or something. It was funny. It was not funny in the moment. Actually, that's not true. It was. Because, like, as soon as she said it, I started laughing. Like, it's just hysterical. Um, so we called the police, we tracked them down because I'm smart enough to grab the license plate number. And, um, the mom shows up with them moments later. And, you know, I was the manager at the time, so it felt so good to have that power. Um, they actually paid for the products, which I think is crazy because the police were there and the parents were there. Um, and even though it happened, they just let them buy, pay for the tobacco products and called it a day which is mind-blowing because they're minors but anyway so we're all sit we're standing outside dealing with it right and i was like you're not welcome to the store no more i don't care how good you are how close you are with the owner i know the owner sells to minors and whatever but um as long as i'm here you're not welcome back in this store and i will tell you that i know he will feel the same way because you robbed him so so he got mad he got mad and then um our other co-worker uh was his age right so they started uh, going at it i'm not making this up so he started like cussing the little boy out that robbed us he's like what are you looking at you little bitch and all that and like they started to square up 
right there in front of the police and all these parents and everything. They're just like squaring up right there. So me and the uh, the other co-worker were pushing him, trying to push him back inside. And we eventually got him inside. Then I had to like lock the doors and all that crazy stuff. It was insane. It was probably the most dramatic thing that happened to me while working there. And funny too. It really was funny. Looking back on it, it was pure comedy. Um, but it was just crazy that I had to do that. Some little boy over, over tobacco products, like, you got a problem. You have a serious problem. But, you know, it was all handled. It was, we spent hours looking at the video footage when the ball, when the owner came in, because he was salty, because all he ever cared about and still does care about is money, you know, so, but it was covered, handled. The merchandise was paid for. The police were very helpful. It was like instantly solved, but it was just the craziest thing because like my mom was there and everything and it's all just going down. So like as soon as they left and we called the cops, mom's like, give me my food. I'm going home. <laughs> so she got out of there, which thank God. Thank God, because if anything would have happened to her, Lord, I would have got fired and went to jail. So, you know, glad she was out of there. But it, it's just a crazy scenario because I never thought that I would deal with something like that or go through something like that so if you all can relate to any any stories like that where y'all been through something insane or pure com comedy or something that's like you can look back on and laugh at now let me know share the connection um but it was just the craziest thing because i thought i thought i was probably gonna end up having to fight them but really my co-worker was about to go ham Thankfully, no one was arrested. You know, it didn't get too out of control. We instantly got it fixed. The cops came right away. Tracked them down. Got them up there. The fight never happened. It was about to. It was close, but the cops were pushing the little boy, and then we were pushing our co-worker. So, whoo, that was a fun day. And it was the only situation, thank God, let me knock on some wood. The only situation I ever had to deal with like that. So, now that that story is in, I'm going to freeze real quick. See if I can get my, my little photo for YouTube. <gasps> Let's hope that one holds. That looks stupid at all. <laughs> Y'all know what to do now. Hit that like button if you thought this was funny. Hit that like button if you like gaming. Hit that like button if you like TG. Why not? Who doesn't like TG? Um, hit that like button if you like my outfit. I mean, check this hat out. Like, it is gorgeous. Blue and orange. And I made sure to rock with it because I got on my orange VC shirts. And then I have on my blue and orange shorts. I know how to rock it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more crazy sporadic gay boy lifestyles because that's what this is all about i'll see you all around